Ooh, we're out of the news. Good morning, out of the blue universe. I'm Boston. And I'm Ryan. And this is your weekly out of the news. Let's start tonight's program off with a comeback story. Stalin is back in power. He's currently holding a dictatorship over Georgia State. The college? I believe so. Residents do say he's been chill so far. Let's hope he keeps it that way. Shirley. Don't call me Shirley, I'm Ryan. In the world of sports, Little Johnny hit a home run last night during the most recent All-Star game at Little Fenway. Overrated. I think he's a strong prospect for the upcoming Blue Jays team. I could kick his ass. In baseball? No, I could punch his fucking lights out like a little bitch he is. I much prefer Teddy on the Tigers. He throws a mean curveball. Johnny could hit it any day of the week. Next week, I'm betting you $50 that Johnny's gonna hit two home runs at least. In other news, my dog peed on the couch today, and we have a live correspondent there now. Thanks, Ryan. Now, I'm standing here today at 424 Maple Street. It's right past the rotary. You take a left, a right, go straight for a couple of minutes, and then it's another right. First house on the corner, medium-sized yellow one. Now, when I got here originally, the door was in fact locked. So upon further inspection, I found an open window. After looking at it for a little bit longer, the window wasn't just unlocked. The lock was broken. Before investigating the couch, I tried getting the tenant out for comment, but he appears not to be home. It seems that he works from the times of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if there ever was a time to commit a robbery, it would be at 424 Maple Street between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Now I did root around his fridge for a little bit and found nothing but a frozen banana, which I found weird. The filing cabinet, however, was a different story. I stole his social security card, and when I was about to steal his credit card information, a little kid came out of one of the rooms asking what I was doing there. So back to the couch. Now, it does look like pee. It smells like pee. It tastes like pee. I can confirm that definitely this is a pee spot. Back to you in the studio, Boston. Well, it looks like you need a new couch. <laughs> Good one, pal. Well, in any news, for any actors, the role of Dr. Dill is now up in the air. So far, we've got a few names thrown in the hat, such as Harry Boyette, Boombox Barry, Kathy, and Ryan's cousin Zach, who's currently dog-sitting. If any of you actors out there want the role as Dr. Dill, please email AAA123 at gmail.com, as shown above. Ex-President Trump was found storing his old documents in his toilet. Classic. <laughs> 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 Shit, hold on, that wasn't a joke. It actually happened? Sorry guys, I guess I ruined joke time. It's... Sorry man, there's... There's gonna be more joke times to come. Let's just move to our stock segment. Lots to unpack here, that's for sure. Seems like AAA stocks are skyrocketing after their recent purchase of Added to Blue and uh, that's great news for this great association. Let's just hope this number keeps climbing and climbing so I can keep bringing you stock updates in the future. Oh, I'm being told I have to end things early, so uh, let's send it down to Boston for some good news. Well, unfortunately, we have been informed that Brian Howard, the creator of the urinal yourself, has been found dead this morning fermenting in his own urine. Rest in piss, I mean, rest in peace, Brian. We got the privilege to do an interview with the Burger King this past week. Yes, we did. Let's check it out. My friends like my burgers. That's why they call me the Burger King.
great story. A lot of heart and well told. Agreed. We got something. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh my god. What happened? There's a new development on the dog piece story. Really? Yeah, turns out I don't have a dog. It's my cousin Zach that peed on the couch. Well, this changes everything. It truly does. Don't forget that tomorrow at 12 a.m. the local committee announces a line change in their About Me section of their website. In other local news, there's a battle of bands happening later this month between well-known bands such as James Squared, The Coffee Team, Double KB, and The Toaster Ovens. Speaking of bands, controversial pop-punk artist and anarchist Andrew Arkey has woken up from his coma after getting hit by his mother's SUV and posted a clip of a new song he wrote when he woke up. This struck the world to its very core, as some love him and others hate I personally thought he was dead. Personally, I liked his song, Society Government Dead, but it really struck me at my heart when I found out that the Out of the Blue documentary series, 11 minutes and 15 seconds, exposed him for not being vegan. I lost Anyways, Scientists have recently found out that flying cars have been around for 20 years. We just haven't looked up. The first man to see a flying car said, quote, Holy shit. For the past three weeks, the Out of the News team have been secretly following a certain company because we have strong reason to believe that they have been money laundering and could be the site of a high-class drug operation. Let's cut to the, the let's cut to the, the video that we did about it. Yeah. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Let's see. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Come on, go on, go on. Right. Park, 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 park. Where's the money? Where's the truck? Where's the truck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We didn't find the information we needed today. We did find some clues though. Made in China? That's suspicious. A little suspicious, if you ask me. We'll be back next week. Well, that was interesting. Anywho, my piece of shit ex-girlfriend won't return any of my calls, so we decided to break into her house and see what's up. We never dated. We went out once. He wouldn't stop talking about his stupid little YouTube channel, Blue Jennings and his stop motion cats. In local traffic news, there's only been one accident this week. It says here, some asshole backed into a lady's car. And that asshole's me. I'm a danger on the road. Surely. Don't call me Shirley on Boston. Well, tonight's broadcast is coming to an end. Just one more story. Local man's house has been broken into and $150,000 worth of action figures were stolen. We go to our correspondent now. I'm not standing here today in front of the crime scene as I rapidly make my getaway. The assailant appeared to go left straight for approximately one minute, took another left, a right, and went straight through the rotary. The criminal appears to be very pleased with what was taken and will most likely not return to work this Monday. Consider this my resignation. Wow, that was an exhilarating story. Yes. I love action figures too. Our news team has informed us that they're going to reach out to the tenant of the house for comment. Oh, looks like I'm getting a call. 
I'll call him back after the show. What's that? Oh. Our news team has now informed us that the tenant of the home will not pick up his phone, so no comment from them, sadly. Well, it certainly was a news show today. Looks like AAA buying out Out of the Blue Studio has brought nothing but good news. I'm Boston. I'm Shirley. And this is AAA Studio Out of the News, signing off.